outdoors, y'all. Just fired up the ATV. Haven't seen the old meat wagon in a while. You know, had, had a few attempts on the public land. I've done some uh, close to home hog archery attempts. I do. And as usual, I'm going to try with the bow. I'm gonna go sit at my old trusty, the only tree stand out here. And there's usually something there. I'm, I'm about to make a run, switch some cameras around, put a camera out. We've got about an hour and then I'm gonna climb up into the tree. All the trying to get something unique interesting looking for that one special boat that's over it's gonna be a fun couple days out here uh right up at, uh, for christmas and so we were actually have a cold christmas in texas coming y'all know what it's all about i got the adventure wagon parked under the shed over here we're gonna be cooking up right there got a nice little cozy home set up at deer camp now it's time to get to work so let's get some cameras out and let's make sure everything is gonna be right for this evening the stop. This is where I was gonna hunt. Battery was dead in the feeder, probably been dead for a while. So I don't think anything's gonna be coming here, unfortunately. That's my only tree to hunt in right now. <sighs> Gotta find an alternative. This is the closest feeder to the one I was just at and there's nothing on the ground. I'm thinking that some of the deer that usually go to the one I was just at, where the battery's dead, are probably gonna be here. guys everything is all set do we have the bow check we have a release in our bag I like I like what we got right here I'm optimistic don't really have a huge reason to be optimistic but I am It's nice and dark in here, just how I want it. So I actually want to show you my setup here before, before we get going. I just set up the tripod. I took some string out of my pack and I attached it to the front of the blind, the open flap. Because I've always had a problem with leaving that open. It just feels kind of exposed. And I've got a, so I've got a string tied to it where I can raise it up. You guys are going to see the light come in as I raise it. It's just a simple little string I've tied up here, but it's going to allow me to stay shaded and just have a little crack to film out of until I'm ready to shoot. And then I can raise it up because this blind has not been here all season. You know, I literally just popped it up here. I think that's going to be pretty important is to uh, basically let the deer come in, get settled, and not see, you know, my bright white face sitting back here. You can see right there. So it's pretty simple. My broadheads are so thirsty for blood. I mean, they've been waiting all daggum season. Okay. 
guys, for some reason, the theater has not gone off. I don't know if it's been broke for days, if that's the case, or weeks, we're in big trouble. I'm just gonna gather firewood. I, I can, I can control how comfortable I am gonna be tonight. It's gonna be very nippy. That'll do. This has not been my hunting season, to say the least. Sort of a misty evening and it's gonna turn very cold tomorrow I feel at peace in the outdoors when I have a fire when it when it's cold even when it's not cold it's there's just something about it there's something very primal but when I'm in a pinch like this I need to get a fire going quick it's dark I use cotton balls and Vaseline and we're taking the easy route with a lighter a little lighter from Bucky's Set up. <laughs> we get a fire going. This is going to be a game changer. Otherwise, we're going to be pretty cold and miserable out here. Oh, nice. I got a deer kernel, uh, corn kernel stuck in my lighter. It's probably not going to light. There it goes. Got it out. Alright, cotton ball is dry. That is going to stay lit with Vaseline for probably, I don't know, a minute or so. Maybe give us enough time, leeway. Oh my gosh, it's already going out. That's not a good sign. A fire. Pretty daggone bad. OK, 
Okay. All the dry grass is caught, surprisingly. It'll burn out pretty quick. Come on, I need this wood to catch. God, this stuff is so wet. Pretty much used all my Vaseline, so this is not gonna be good if this doesn't light. Inside of this little cedar branch is semi-dry. Just breaking it apart. Come on, baby. This is it right here. This is the moment of truth. All right. I think we got it going. That right there, y'all, is just an instant feeling of everything is going to be okay. It's Christmas time. It's time for faith, love, hope. And I'm not going to let this evening of not seeing Jack Squat get me down. Part of the reason I, lo I love it out here is this is a big place, you know, it's a lot to manage, and there is plenty of instances where, you know, we don't, we don't have corn in all the feeders, because there's, there's not many of us out here, and um, it's a huge place. It's like 2,500 acres, and there's always a mystery to it. You get deer that you've never seen before, um, you know, the, you can pattern deer. It's big enough. It's like fishing a big lake trying to figure out the fish and that's part of the reason I really like it you know it's low fence there's not giant deer out here but uh, there's there's always a surprise there's always a mystery to it try to figure things out so there's no exception for today I went ahead and I took that pop-up down and we're just gonna have to move it somewhere else and I'm gonna go check cameras here in a little bit I'm gonna drive around One's a cell cam, one's not, and we're gonna, we're gonna pull the card and see what's coming in. Ah, oh, feels good to have a fire going, guys. We're gonna be all right. Okay, now I saw mainly pig tracks place tonight, but I'm so curious to see. Very, very curious. There's not many photos. There's me just now looking pig. Mega pig. Okay, that pig was there right before I showed up. I basically scared that pig off. Alright, what do we got here? We got a we got a buck. A little six point it looks like and a doe. One doe, one little buck. But not promising for the deer. God, where are the big bucks? Where are they? Where are they? I don't know. I'm gonna have to wait for a camera update because we are in the middle of nowhere. Service is not great. Uh, it's probably going to take it, you know, a few more hours than usual, so probably check it in the wee hours of the night. But I'm going to crawl into the adventure wagon. Uh, I've got the zero degree bag laid out on the canvas cutter with a fleece blanket. Makes it nice. Um, just finished warming up by the fire. Got the toesies and the hands all nice and warm. So we're feeling good. But I, as of right now, I don't know what I'm going to do in the morning. It's going to depend on the trail cam picks that I get um, in the wee hours. So I will see you guys in the early light. Hopefully with some good luck.
It's almost six o'clock. We have the camera update. Unfortunately, there's, <laughs> there's nothing juicy. There's nothing juicy. I actually didn't even get a picture uh, in daylight, which is insane. Um, <laughs> I came out here because I, all the bucks I was seeing on public land were at night. And I see one buck at night, 7 p.m., and he's, uh, you know, he's not even semi-mature. He's probably not even three and a half. I, I, I don't know where to go now. Please be a random deer. That just, here's the corn this morning, frolics into the forest. Hail Mary right here with the bow, trying to get it done. If not, in the first 45 minutes, I'll probably start itching, get down, and we'll think about something else. But for right now, we're trying to get an arrow bloody. Okay, all hope is lost. I was changing my lenses out and like a hundred yards away, there was a deer. It just blows. I guess it saw me. A hundred yards away. And then this heavy fog has rolled in. Heavy fog. We've had this foggy mist come in here. I actually was pretty optimistic when I first got in there. I heard this behind me. It's a little lighter than that, but that usually means a deer is walking on some, some, uh, some broken up rock. So I knew something was coming in and then I heard We all know the sound. I, I didn't even get to look at the deer smell me right away and it was sort of a, a softer Fee! it was like a warm-up and just continued on two or three hundred yards down the way I saw two other whitetails get scared by her across the way so now a new game plan needs to be formed to try to get a deer I don't know a big buck's just not gonna happen for me this year just not Temperatures are going to dip down in the teens. Things are going to get a little crazy in the next 24 hours. And that's about all I got before I, I got I to gotta go home. We're going to spend some time with the family for the holidays. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys for being here in the frosty, great outdoors. And hopefully in the next 24 hours, we're going to get that harvest buck to take home to the fam. So stay tuned for it. I hope you're having better luck than I am in the great outdoors. Stay bundled up. Stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Got to put some mesquite on here. Let's get this party started. Keep that rolling. Toasty. We'll make some preparations out of the field. We're gonna harvest tonight.